I'm Julia Jackson, and this is Music Unite. Hey, this is Legan with Music Unite, and we are proudly sponsored by Music Go Round. Welcome to the interview of Red Light Cameras. I'm Drew. Uh, I'm Jared. Yeah. And we're going to let them introduce themselves, the Red Light Cameras. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go ahead. I'm Chris. I'm the guitarist. I'm Barney. I play bass. I'm Kirsten. I play drums. I'm Amanda and I'm vocals. Okay. They all mimed their instrument. You did not, but it's fine. Excellent. You mimed that. <laughs> all right, guys. So, Red Light Cameras, Albuquerque Band. For the those that don't know your sound, can you describe your sound to us? Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Just like that. That's what it sounds like. It's mostly We're humming. On. No, go ahead. Um, I, I guess you could describe us kind of as an indie pop band um, with influence of soul. Um, definitely some rock influences in there. Even like countries. In yeah, there. even country. We do a little bit of everything. Yeah. Maybe certain uh, bands uh, that you just don't steal from, but are inspired by That's a good word. Right. <laughs> it, should, it should be an interviewer. Go ahead. Uh, the Pixies, for sure. All right. Yeah, I can hear that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think are an influence on us. Nora Jones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Smashing Pumpkins. Oh. Um, I'm a huge Pumpkins fan. That's, okay. I'm not that's, afraid to well, say that's it. Well, that's regrettable. I'm sorry you said that. You're just naming your favorite. I will say You're it. just naming the CD in your card. Right. <laughs> Um, I definitely say there's a lot of like classic rock influence too, like a, a little bit of like ZZ Top kind of like, I don't know, what else? Yeah, yeah. Like Bowling Stone, Ramones, Bowling Stones. Yeah. yeah. Definitely Rolling Stones. If I had to, if I had to like be on record for choosing one band or the other, Beatles or Rolling Stones, I would say Rolling Stones. Okay. All the way. Strike two there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you do know there's a lot over there. I know, <laughs> I know. Popular. But I will say Rolling Stones over the Beatles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got well, two albums out. Your second one's coming out. Yeah. October fifth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a game. Don't right. work with kids here. We'll get to that in a second. All right. Okay. All right. October fifteenth at. The launch at the pad. launch pad, checking it out. You change styles between the two CDs so far? Or keeping it steady? Um, Something you're excited about and that you new sound you're trying on a new CD? Well, we're, I mean, I think we're all really, really excited to have the album come out, like, and to be working on it. And this album has a lot of our, has all of our songs, pretty much. And, like, and it, it I don't know, the sound varies, I think. And I think that that's something that, people like about our band is that a lot of their songs like have they're different you know and that's kind of the feel of our album is that it's like it's us how long have you guys been together it's been about a year it's about a year that's pretty how's your fan base from a year you get a good response or yeah we've yeah. had a really good response I'd say. And I, I feel like it's just taken off you know in the last six like, it's just like... <laughs> 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 you have to maybe the full-time yeah, right, yeah, I feel like we've been super successful since the very beginning. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, right. Right. Or, yeah. But we, we're garnering... 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 Is that a word? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of uh, momentum in just the last six months, I think. And then it's just really snowballed pretty fast. Yeah. It's awesome. So, like... Um, how, how do you guys like, what's your favorite venue? Because I know, I'm pretty sure I've seen you at every venue in town, <laughs> as we frequently make fun of to the show and everyone else we know, <laughs> that you guys are playing, I think you guys should, are at a show somewhere right now, right? So, but like, what's your guys' like, the favorite venue in Albuquerque you've been to so far, like that you just like really dig playing? Um, I think... Uh, <laughs> I think Bert's is yeah. our, our favorite place to play. It's a really small venue and... Um, it's always such a wide variety of yeah. people that are there, which is really cool. And there's no cover charge, so you don't know who's going to show up. So it's always just a fun fun time just to see if you can get the crowd going just on a, yeah. on a Friday or Saturday. I always, I always call Bert's like, it's our, our home game. It's our home, our home, our home team. Our home, yeah. It's a home game tonight guys so it's gonna be really really good no matter what like it's yeah, we, like we're gonna 
It's, we're gonna have a good show you because we're playing. Yeah, we're, you don't phone it in at home. Uh, we played. We played so many like Tuesday, Monday night, like weeknights at Burt's that yeah. I think we've all just gotten used to it being like a safe place right. for us to like yeah. try new stuff. I don't even think. I feel like it's uh, just a, a testing ground now. That like if we if we have a new song or anything, we just play it up for it and see how it goes over. Yeah. yeah. What about like outside Albuquerque? You guys just got back that big house. I'm using the word big in an assumption because I wasn't there. But the house. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be the Taos Music Festival. How did that go? Well, it was our our first and and actually the only gig that we played outside of of uh, Albuquerque. Yeah. Um, and it was a lot of fun, actually. I, yeah. It well, Barney, it was Barney's bachelor party before, the week before he got married. And so it's just a three day party. <laughs> so, uh, I thought it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we played for you know, 30 minutes. But, <laughs> but, but, but it, was it was good. There were tons of bands. The lineup was, was pretty tight and scheduled very well. Um, the sound quality was amazing. The, the sound system was so freaking loud and something about being like nestled at the bottom of Kachina Peak up yeah. in the wilderness, the sound was just amazing. Yeah. You could go on a hike anywhere and still be like, dang, I want to check out what's who's on stage yeah. right now because you can still I, I, I hear it. I think it was the it best was, sounding venue I've ever been like, to. Yeah. Natural yeah. amphitheater. It was, That's awesome. It was yeah. really cool. Yeah. It was really cool. So, uh, speaking of amphitheaters, like, the Paul is hilarious closed. What are you guys' thoughts on that? <laughs> it's a true <tragedy. laughs> Yeah. Uh, I think it's a great space, and, I mean, one that we would hope to eventually be <laughs> Right. To. I still think it's still there. What do you say <laughs> we go across the street, get some beers, and just have a show? Actually, just we're crashing. playing there. In we're, like, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're, 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 it's our secret show. Damn it. I think we're gonna miss it. We we're have just, stuff to do. We're trying to give you good PR, right? And <laughs> I think a B&E is the best way to get good PR, right? <laughs> yeah, nobody really owns it. We really want you to to rock, to reinvent it. I went to the last show there, which was Modest Mouse, which in itself is kind of sad. That's but right. <laughs> anyway, people like Modest Mouse. That's, that's I like true. Modest I, like, I like Modest Mouse. Yeah, let's, let's put that down. <laughs> Modest no, that's not fine. You get you get one back. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Get a point <laughs> back. They did. You know, steal somebody from my favorite band, and that kind of made me mad. Holy shit. Or, We're still talking about Modest Mouse? No, man, well, Modest Mouse stole somebody. I can't remember. Murder City Devils, they stole somebody from there. And that's my favorite band, so. Yes. It's a lot about me in that conversation. <laughs> uh, I'm glad the band could interview you. Right. <laughs> well, how does it really make you feel about <laughs> Modest yeah. Mouse stealing? It made me feel bad, really. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of words I can't say on air. So, have you guys been on tour yet? <laughs> Not yet. No, We're hoping. Not. Why? Right. Well, we got know. We already know you've been to Taos. Right. Yeah. What's the plan? Where Where are you gonna venture off to? Hopefully, my dream is around the world. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. farther. You're like, yeah, we'll be we're gonna be in Prague this December. Yeah, we yeah. could play space. <laughs> that would be awesome. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we just need to get an album out first. And then yeah, we... I think the album has been our number one goal of, yeah. of getting out because we just feel like it's it's. I mean, it would be fun to go on tour, but yeah. it would almost seem pointless to go on tour without an album to leave in places as we go along the way. Yeah. Uh, so we want to do that. Okay. Yeah, like right now, I think we're really focused on. I mean, a tour is definitely in the in the conversation, in the works, and like and and something that we're aspiring to, but I think that right now we're focusing on getting the things that you need for tours, like Brian saying, like an album and merchandise, like we're talking about yeah. and t-shirts and buttons and things, and, and I think that's the step that we should be at as a band. Like we have our yeah. following now, like we have pretty decent... We need like, a merch table. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Gotcha. So let me ask you an important question. How many times do you hear the joke, red light cameras, oh, I hate that, they're bad. Like, oh, red light cameras, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. Like, I don't know. I'm not good at jokes with red light cameras. I hate them so much, but yeah. how much do you guys get that reference? Um, I mean, it's it, got to be hard to Google you guys. You know, well, <laughs> it's weird because our name before this was Evil Lived, which is Devil Love spelled backwards, which is like an even worse name than red light cameras. Yeah, we feel like we took a step forward. Right. Um, yeah. And actually, the way that we took that step, um, Kirsten, do you want to? Sure. We were, we were at Burt's, of course. Um, I think we had played a show. Yeah, we, we had, had played, played a show. show. As Evel lived. As Evel lived. 
and um, Spoon was in town. The band, the band Spoon, and they were they had played the I don't know sunshine. the sunshine, they and they sunshine. and they were having drinks. At they the... decided to take drinks at 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 Bert's, and so I went over there, and I was like, "You guys are the members of Spoon, right?" And they're like, "Yeah, we're Spoon." And I was like, that's a really good band name. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> How did you come up with that band name? And they were like, I don't know, what do you think? And I was like, I don't know. Heroin? <laughs> um, like, you like to eat food? Um, you play percussion spoon? I don't know. And I never actually got it out of them. But, you know, they were like, well, what's your band name? And I was like, Eva lived. You know, that's why I was asking. And, and they were like, well, you should change your band name. I was like, okay, we should change our band name. So the members of Spoon told us that we needed to change our band uh, name. Yeah. Their so. suggestion was change your band name while you're nobody, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Before you get stuck with some shitty band name. Right. So. Yeah. yeah. There's so, very few people that remember right. us that have ever lived, I think. Right. Like, yeah. that can, right. Yeah. So we picked something that everyone hates. <laughs> uh, but you guys, how did you guys come up with it? We yeah. saw red lights one night. We saw an ambulance go by, and we were like, "Red lights, that's a good name." And I think Barney added cameras. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to, yeah. yeah. So, but we'd like to say that we're the only red light cameras that you will like. Oh, uh, that's nice. I like that. Hate every other one. <laughs> Got a tagline. But like, okay, so this is a question. I just always wondered sometimes when I'm like sitting in my house and I'm thinking, but uh, how do bands <laughs> name like things like, you know, names of their songs, names of their albums? Like as a group, do you guys have a hat or do you play darts for it or like? Ooh, hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, strangely enough, I actually, we all work with kids and stuff and um, I write the lyrics to the songs, and the song actually started as a song about kids. Okay. And about working with kids. Oh, and it eventually you turned that into, song for me all well, the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's a secret that a lot of people don't don't know, I don't think. But it turned into you're a hot, hot mess. Like I mean, you look at somebody and go, ooh, you're a hot mess, girl. Like your problem. Um, and I think that for the names of our a lot of our songs, we like the way that we write a lot of things is is you know one of like one of us will come in and be like I've been working on something I've been thinking about something I've been messing around and it just kind of grows like it that's what I love about our songwriting is that it all grows together and I feel like we really all write the songs together you know it's like it's I I love us but anyway um that's not important um but it we will get done playing it for the first time or, or a couple times or working it out and then we'll go okay what are we gonna call it <laughs> and then we kind of shoot it shoot around a lot of things and you know what were you saying okay well let's call it that what is what is standing out in the song and and i think that's yeah that's really how we do it it's just whatever is hitting us at that moment and yeah. what we, we knew that on. that song had an ooh in it <laughs> it had an ooh yeah, yeah the oohs were there so. And it, I think for a while, like with a few songs, we'll call them something just based off of the one thing that helps us, helps remind us of what song it is that we're talking about. <laughs> so like for Ooh Hot Mess for a while, it was just like, oh, let's play that song. <laughs> yeah. And we would play that song, and, and so eventually it turned, it became Hot Mess, and so we just combined the two things. Like uh, Spinning Rock is a great example. Like, um, like the lyrics were there and things were happening, and Barney was like, I really, like what keeps ringing in my ears is, is spinning up, and this keeps ringing, and I want to put it in there. I'm like, okay, so it kind of it, it got it worked its way in there, and we ended up calling it that. Like, I gotta we try to put it off as far as we can. But as you talked to us earlier, we're super nerds for your song juice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, read, man. And here's song. our question for your interview: Can we be in the video? <laughs> I think everyone. Can. Yeah, everyone. everyone. Yeah. But our idea for the video is to like be in a grocery store, which we kind of have. We've got some ideas for this video already figured out and in the works. Um, but in a grocery store with as many people as we can get. So, 
and roller skaters. And, and roller skates. Skating backwards. Lots of juice boxes. Gosh, that's just everywhere. If you can think of anything abstract to do in the we aisles. We're gonna do swashbuckling was our idea. That could work. Here's the thing, yes. we didn't know you needed skaters. Because we, we are, are the best jam skaters anti afro We're way better than the cannon. <laughs> way better than him. Oh, really? All right. Yeah, we, it's our secret. If you want to see, you can catch us Sunday night at Roller King. Adult, <laughs> adult night, 6 to 9. <laughs> it's called Roller Skate City. Right. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm living in my youth. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, Chris is pretty much the camera guy for us for all of our videos and he's done a fantastic job with our, our last two videos. We, Which we are awesome. Convertibles are very, very cool. Yeah. And he directed those and so and extra kudos. But yeah, mostly. He's a super editor so awesome. hopefully he'll be Check out, yeah, go to YouTube, check out Red Light Cameras. I, I haven't seen Home yet, but Convertible's very, I mean, it's, it's girls with guns, it's pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> You'll like it. <laughs> and Chris gets totally beat up. Yeah, I get beat up in the middle. All right, so we know you play everywhere, but what's the show they have to see next? What's the upcoming show? Say this in October, what's your show in October? October 15th at the launch pad. That's a big one. That's, yes. Let's go see that one. <laughs> Come get our yep. CD. Come get our CD. Buy their yeah. CD. Oh, outstanding. Well, thanks for coming by, guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much thanks for having, having us. Thank yeah. you. Well, nice. Awesome. It's supposed to be New Mexico music. You guys are really talented New Mexico music. So cool, yeah. 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 Let me just also mention that there's a couple of bands playing that night. Raw, Shoulder Voices. You don't have to do that at all. Okay. No, I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, gotta, we gotta plug our friends. We got, we got a lot of friends playing that night. So. Raw, Shoulder Voices, Tectonic Movement, The Great Depression. Great Depression. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully you like this and then you can check out other fun stuff at musicunite.com, Music Unite on Facebook and YouTube and etc. Yeah, that's, that's all we have. Cool. Badass Brewery. It's bad.